Hello everyone and welcome to an all new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video we're going to be doing an in-depth unboxing and review of the 187 or HO scale Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar CS56 Smooth Drum Vibratory Soil Compactor. Now it does come in this white outer shipping box. The idea behind the white outer shipping box is to protect the model's actual box, which in this case, because it's a Highline Series model, is a metal tin. So bear that in mind. Continuing on with the unboxing process, you need to cut one of the tapes, which I have already done to save us a bit of time. It doesn't really matter which side you open. Next, you can see that the tin is housed in this white nylon bag, and that is just to prevent any scraping that could happen during shipping on the box of metal tin. A subtle but nice touch that is very much appreciated to those of us that like to keep the metal tins in tip-top shape, just the same way as we like to keep our models in tip-top shape. Removing the nylon bag presents us with the aforementioned metal tin. These are adult collectibles. You can see that right here. They are not recommended for anyone under the minimum age of 14 and up. They do have some potentially fragile and breakable pieces on them. Here's your item number again, the description if you need it. Uh, there's your warning hazard, the cat logo. Underneath here is your cat trademark and all the other trademarks. On the back, we have a picture of the real machine, as well as some operational um, dimensions, operational specifications, and machine dimensions. So if you guys would like to read that, please feel free to pause my video right now. For the rest of us, we're going to look at the top of the tin real quick, because that's a nice picture worth taking a look at. And then we're going to pop the top and see what we're presented with. First thing out of the tin is the 2022 Diecast Masters Caterpillar Collection pamphlet. I always encourage all the collectors to hang on to these because you can mark off what's in your collection. Maybe some new models that are coming up towards the end of 2022 and early 2023 so you can kind of make a wish list of yourself and prioritize what you want to save up for. Next, you have the black foam rubber with a hole. That hole is there by design. It's a finger hole. Stick your finger in the hole. Move the piece of black foam rubber out. We have a tissue paper. That is keeping our model nice and cozy in the bottom layer of black foam rubber. Now, again, take a minute to look over any model, not just this model, but any model. Make sure when you lift it out, you're not going to break any of the potentially fragile pieces off. So on this model, I like to grab it from the back. Last but not least, there is no assembly that needs to be done on this little compactor or roller. So once you've removed it from the tin, you are ready to display it. All right, we got to cover some ground here, so let's get this thing moving. You can see I have it up here on the display table, so you get an idea of just the actual size of this. Again, tiny model being 1 to 87 scale. This is perfect for your HO uh, model train set layout, and it's even more perfect if you've had an opportunity to pick up the uh, Progress Rail Caterpillar train set from Diecast Masters. That is out right now. It's in your hobby stores and online. Back to the roller, you can see that this is a closed off or enclosed cab version of the CS56 uh, compactor. You have Caterpillar right here, compacting drum, smooth drum, which has this nice kind of metal flake finish to it, which looks particularly realistic, especially when the machine is new and it hasn't been used yet. Caterpillar on the back, a single exhaust, some nice reflectors, and if I can draw your attention right here, it's a small detail here here and here but they have added some tie down point decals so again if you were putting this on a um a flat car for example if you were going to outfit a train with cat equipment or if you're putting this on a low boy you know exactly where the tie down points are if you're going for the ultra realistic look now one thing to mention i know what a lot of you guys are thinking if you're long-term collectors i swear i've seen this before and you're right these are retooled or i should say modified older Norscott toolings. So Norscott came out with these roughly about 15 years or so ago. The tooling itself is pretty close to being identical. Um, the only difference that I can see is that the Diecast Masters 1 have added an operator figure inside the cab. He is not removable. Uh, and they've also updated the details and graphics. So the tie-down points, those are new. They weren't present on the Norscott ones. And if it's worth anything to you, I think the paint, at least in my eyes, is a little bit higher quality than it was on the North Scout ones. So bear that in mind. All right, that's the details and the decals. Let's go straight into functionality. 
So, the functionality of a machine like this is to compact the ground. These are not asphalt rollers, as the title says. This is a soil compactor. So, they are used to prepare the soil or the ground in preparation for a base of the road layer to go in. So, this would be compacting the soil or gravel. And then you would come in with a uh, asphalt paver and then you would pave it, and then you get a double drum roller, which is not what this is, and that's what would compact the asphalt. So, for functionality, both the rubber tires and the heavy metal drum do roll well, even on the spin table. The machine steers by articulation, so you can achieve an articulated angle. Although, I'll be honest, it does seem like it's a bit shallow and could perhaps be improved if this is ever released in the future. One other thing that uh, I do like about this is the fact that the, because the drum is so heavy, it does roll really, really well. So that's the last bit of functionality that I wanted to point out. So there you go. That's the functionality. Rubber tires move. You can steer it with articulation. And the big heavy metal drum does work pretty well, too. Last but not least, if you want to take a look underneath, that's what they look like. If you wanted to disassemble it, there are a couple screws. So for those of you that uh, are turned off by the operator figure inside the cab, you can go ahead and disassemble this model. And uh, it will take some effort, but you can go ahead and remove the operator from the cab if that's something that you want to do. Before I close out this video, this is not the only soil compactor that Diecast Masters has released simultaneously here towards the end of 2022, early part of 2023. They have also released... A pad foot compactor with a dozer blade on the front. So there you go. Here's what both of them look like. So if you're looking to get a fleet of soil compacting equipment, both the pad foot and the smooth drum, you can pick up both of these. They are in stock now, and they do make excellent models. So, in conclusion, if you are looking for the Caterpillar CS56 or the Caterpillar CP with the difference S is for smooth drum, P is for pad put. These are reasonably priced. They look excellent on a model train layout or in a Caterpillar yard or even on a low boy. You can remove the operator if you want to, but again, you will have to completely disassemble this model in order to do so. But don't let that be the reason that you don't pick up this model because you absolutely can remove him if that's something that you need to do. As always, I'm Tommy from Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you take a look at your screen right now, you will see a suggested link for that pad foot compactor. So as soon as this video finishes, you can go ahead and watch the review on the pad foot one. Thanks again. Take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.